All right, everybody. Good Monday afternoon. You know what time it is. You know what it's all about. We got some snap count numbers to take a look at today. And, hey, at this point in the season, all we have is just collecting data and trying to understand what we might have going forward because the present just sucks. All we have left is the future. And, Hopefully, going through some of this data will shine some light on our future. So, snap count, starting with the running backs, pretty simplistic here. Rashad Penny got most of the snaps. We had a total of 56 offensive snaps. Relatively low number, not critically so, 56. Rashad Penny got 30. DJ Dallas got 22. Travis Homer got 4. I like this. I think this is good. No diss to Travis Homer. I think he's pretty good for what he is, and what he is is a good third down back, good blocker, good pass catcher, decent player. However, we know what he is. I'd rather give these snaps to guys like Rashad Penny, who, by the way, is playing well enough these last few games to where it has become very believable that he, he is actually part of some future plan in Seattle. <clears throat> it is now believable we bring him back, which... Depending on the scenario, I would be okay with, but give, giving him these snaps at the end of the season helps us make this determination. And I like DJ Dallas getting snaps as well, because we don't really know what he is yet. This is just his second year in the NFL. He he might be somebody who is worth a roster spot. He might not be. I, I know he had a, some special teams value as well, but I'm talking about as an actual running back. We, we got to kick the tires and see what's up, I think. So I like this. I think this is a pretty solid way to spread out your running back snaps, and I hope we keep it up. All right, wide receiver, pretty much what you would come to expect. Metcalf played most of the snaps. I, I think he got hurt at one point in this game and didn't really miss much time. Lockett played 48 snaps, so he got a slightly reduced role, I think mostly because he was just coming off the uh, COVID list, and we, we didn't want to overwork him, so this is kind of to be expected, I think, more or less. Uh, Keno. Dwayne Eskridge got 20 snaps, saw the ball a few times, got a little bit of action, so that was kind of cool to see. Uh, Freddie Swain got more snaps, however, 29, and I don't like it, but I, I do think a lot of it has to do with the fact that Eskridge is just behind because of the injury. He's just way behind. Um, I, I know that next year you would better see way more Eskridge than Swain, but uh, for now this might just be what we have to deal with. Penny Hart got six snaps and nothing else for any other wide receiver. Cody Thompson might have played one or two, but no point in listing him here for the time being. Okay, tight ends. Without Will Disley, pretty much what you would expect. Gerald Everett played a lot of snaps, 47 out of 56, and he played pretty well. The false start sucked, but he played a good game. He was productive. He got in the end zone. So I like him getting a lot of snaps. He might be somebody who sticks around going into the next era. He's young enough and good enough to where it's believable. Without uh, Disley, Colby Parkinson had 22 snaps, which is a good experience for him, I guess. He didn't really do much of anything. He got targeted once, I believe, and he picked up a bad penalty, which sucked. But um, Colby, I, I don't know what we got there, but we're not going to find out this year, clearly. And Tyler Mabry got two snaps, just uh, some uh, jumbo set stuff with three tight ends on the field, I think. So, pretty reasonable given the fact we had no uh, Disley. All right, let's cut on over to the defense and take a look at the defensive ends. Some interesting stuff here. Dunlap had another really good game with only 33 snaps out of 74. We played 74 total snaps on D. So, Dunlap didn't even play half the game. And he still got multiple sacks and was making positive contributions. So I don't know what's going to happen this offseason, but Dunlap's an interesting guy to watch because, yes, he's old. Yes, he didn't really do much most of this season despite getting plenty of snaps, but he's come alive at the end here. We're going to have to pay him regardless. You might see Dunlap back next year just because of that. And if he can play like this, then he is well worth the... Um, 900 grand extra we have to give him if he sticks around. Uh, Alton Robinson played 22 snaps, not a whole lot, but he did actually have a couple of tackles for loss, so uh, Alton did good. I'd like to see him play a lot more than this, but I, I understand that 
he might to a certain extent be in the doghouse because of some of the stuff he's done this year, the, some of the uh, stupid penalties really hurt against the Rams, honestly. But uh, he, he, he played good. I'd like to see him get a little more action. Benson Mayo played 22 snaps, so his role is getting severely diminished, which I fully support. We know exactly what Mayo is. We don't know if he's going to be here next year, so I think this is great. Got to get Daryl Taylor some of those uh, Sam linebacker reps, I think. We got to see if Taylor can handle it. Uh, Kerry Hyder, no snaps. He uh, was apparently could have played, but physically didn't feel up to it. And that's, I guess that's okay. We know what Kerry Hyder is. He's a longtime veteran. We have a pretty good idea that he's a, a capable, decent player, but not great. So this is fine. And Rasheem Green got his usual massive number of snaps, 59. I think this is because he can play two different positions on the line. And honestly, he is playing well, so I can't even hate. Okay, defensive tackle. We've got Puna Ford with 49. So he played a pretty significant chunk of that game. Pretty good. Uh, I, I think he played a decent game as well, so... No, no issues there. Al Woods played 38 snaps, so he's still grinding, man. Still grinding out what will end up being a very impressive season for the Seahawks in 2021. So, shout out to him at his age, given the fact that he didn't play football last year. He is just absolutely grinding. LJ Collier got uh, 25 snaps, and he actually seemed to play okay. So, uh, shout out to LJ, I guess. Um, it, it's been a bad season. You know it's bad when I have to talk up LJ Collier, but... Uh, Seems like he's actually making some positive contributions. Monet was out. Kemdichi played 18 snaps. Didn't notice him a whole lot, but he is out there playing. He is out there contributing. And I think Miles Adams got involved as well. I think he got like 19 snaps. So he, he got out there and played for the first time this year. So uh, good for him. I didn't notice a whole lot from him, but uh, he, he did play. So uh, don't think I didn't notice. Okay, linebacker, pretty much what you have come to expect at this point. Bobby Wagner and Jordan Brooks played every snap. And Brooks continues to put good performances out there. And this is not easy for him, by the way. Jordan Brooks is in a very brutal situation right now, playing out of position, forced to play a lot of coverage, and without the typical slate of defensive backs to back him up. Like, we don't have Blair, we don't have... Reed, we don't have Flowers, we, we don't have Brown. We have so many guys who we expected to have who are not here. So Brooks is forced into coverage maybe more than ever, and he is grinding out there. He's not perfect, but he is playing really well, I think. I like what I see from Jordan Brooks. Daryl Taylor played about half the game. I'd like to see a little bit more, but it's fine. He did pick up a bad penalty, which I don't know if it was really roughing, but whatever, it, it got called. I don't think he played a bad game. I think he actually... I saw him make plays quite a bit in this game. I was happy with what he did. Cody Barton got back out onto the field for the first time in a while. He got three snaps, including, I think, on the third and fourth down near the goal line early in the game when we got the stop. So I guess Barton did his job. So good for him. Uh, not so good to see him back, but hey, he's out there. He's um, We, we, we got to try to find something, some information to glean out of this lost season. And then we bring us to cornerback, which, I mean, the, the cupboard is really barren right now. Yeah. So Sidney Jones plays every snap, and uh, he got beat up a little bit, but I don't blame him in this situation. I think he played okay. Ugo Amadi, awful game that he played, played 49 snaps, so big chunk of the game. Ryan Neal played every snap, but he was playing at safety. And John Reed played all but three snaps, 71, so... Uh, given the fact that he was really thrown into the fire this week, I think he did okay. And that's it for Snap Count Monday. Uh, really, really barren defensive back room. We're, we're literally, with Bless You on Austin out, we were down to three guys. Three guys to play three corner spots. Sydney, Reed, and Amadi. And at that point, I guess you would have activated uh, Nigel Warrior. But uh, we didn't see him yet. Wouldn't mind seeing him these last couple weeks. But uh, doesn't look like it's going to happen. Seems like we would rather... Um, God, we, we would rather sodomize ourselves with a red hot poker than going to dime right now so in fairness jordan brooks is playing well i don't really want to take him off the field but kind of interesting to see they won't put nigel warrior out there but they will put john reed out there for this many snaps but hopefully next week we get austin and reed back and we don't have this problem all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here see you guys in stream soon peace out go hawks
Let me know what you think.